All right, in order to dewinterize, first of all, I gotta find my fresh water tank. Ours happens to be under the mattress. Take off that cover. Here's the tank itself. And then you'll see there's lines connected. Okay, so this hose here is the one that I use when I, when I winterize it. I'm gonna stick that into a big container of antifreeze. Then you follow along there, and then you're gonna see that right there is the water pump. So that's the line there that the water will pump water out through the lines. And those lines come up and through and feed the rest of the RV. Now on the other side of it, you're gonna see that's where it's getting water coming in. So it might follow this line, which goes to the fluid, like the, the antifreeze fluid, or it might go to the other line, which feeds its water from the fresh water tank supply. Now you can see there's a valve right there. Right there. So that's the valve that I had installed, and that allows me to switch between the water source being the fresh water tank or an external supply like that jug of antifreeze that I was talking about. So all I need to do is I flip that valve so that it's going to take the water source from the fresh water tank, and then I'm going to turn on the water pump to pressurize the system, and then after that I'm going to start opening the lines beginning from the faucets that are closest to the fresh water tank, and then work my way out to the very uh, furthest away, which would be the external shower. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to run the water so that it flushes the lines until I stop seeing red or orange coming out of the lines, and then I know it's filled with fresh water and the antifreeze has been purged. After you've adjusted the valve so that the source of the water from the water pump comes from the fresh water tank, you're going to want to add fresh water to that fresh water tank. So here, got the hose. And then basically they add water. You don't need it to be completely full, but you don't want to run out of water um, through your water pump when you go to dewitcherize. Now that we've got water in the fresh water tank, it's time to pressurize the system by turning on the water pump. Now that the water system is pressurized, it's time to start flushing the line. So the first thing is to start with the faucet that is closest to the fresh water tank. And in this case, it is our kitchen faucet. So I'm going to turn on the coal. And I'm looking for, you can see it's orange, so the color of the uh, antifreeze that I used is orange. So it's going to keep coming out with the orange, and what I'm basically waiting for it to do is get rid of all of the orange in the line, and I want to see fresh water coming through. Okay, so that's clear water coming through, and then I turn on the hot. And same thing, I'm just waiting for the water to become clear. That looks pretty clear to me. So then now I move on to the next closest one, which is the washroom faucet. Now we're going to repeat the same procedure with the faucet in the washroom. So that's pretty clear. Now the hot. Yeah, that's clear. Now we'll move on to the toilet and repeat the same procedure. After that, I will do the same thing for the shower and then for the external shower as well. And that's pretty much all there is to dewinterizing your trailer. It's pretty simple. One thing I'd add is maybe go around inside and out and use some silicone spray on all of the hinges, including the covered hinges. Keep everything open and closing smoothly without any squeaks. And if you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting that like button. Don't forget to leave a comment or a question and subscribe because we're going to be coming out with a lot more trailering videos soon.